Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video I'm going to look at fine-tuning the actual printer um, just to sort of focus on the quality of the prints. Uh, if I can get that to focus there's the benchy that I printed before I started making these changes and you'll notice that the front of it is looking pretty crap. And here is the benchy after the changes which I think you'll agree is looking very much better anyway let's get stuck into it now So the belt seems to be running too low on this pulley and seem to have the same thing here so that could be causing some problems. So the problems I'm actually seeing, uh, okay here's a calibration cube and you'll see that there's some ringing just here and here, here and here. And I also printed out a Kelly cap, and you'll see ring along here. Not so prevalent here, but so in one axis it's a lot more prevalent. So it's probably one of the belts that's causing the problem. I think they're actually loose, but um, I don't believe I've really adjusted this properly. Um, now this benchy just finished and you'll notice pretty crappy around the front here. Not great at all. The circles of the, like the stack look really good. I put the part cooling fan on and the duct I can get down there. Here's a bit of a clutch, which I'll go through when I talk about all of the latest sort of bits and pieces. But the detail and everything isn't actually too bad. If we can just get rid of this ringing issue, I think that's going to be great and hardly any string so that part cooling fan seems to do the trick okay well i'm going to make some adjustments and we'll see how i go from there well, here's a better view of the part cooling fan um, so the mounted here uh, with a duct that goes underneath and just empties out here only on only on the one side so I loosened off the grub screws and have readjusted the pulley heights to be where I believe you know, it's running the most central and I loosened off all of the adjusters um, back to fully loosened off and then reset up the square of the carriage and basically to do that you pull the carriage all the way forward to the stops and you should have equal distance between the mount and the stop on either side here and if it's different then you adjust you tighten up the either the two top ones on either side or the two bottom ones on either side until it's actually squared up with the, exactly the same distance here and then here and once that was squared up I basically just tightened all four screws at the same rate so half a turn of each until the belts feel tight now I don't know how tight they should be and I've read that having them too tight can be as big a problem as having them too loose 
Anyway, we'll see how this goes. I'm just printing another calibration cube, so I'll come back after that's done. Actually, the other thing I've done to tidy up this wiring, I've basically just used some, um, some of that split flexible conduit. And to make sure that it actually always sort of stays up, I've inserted a spring into it along with the actual cables and it seems to be working really well and in all honesty that's how it's going to be there's a few cable ties here just to sort of hold it together but um and i will print a clamp here permanent to mount it permanently um, and i was wondering what i should do here but at the end of the day there's a couple of screw holes here and I've just put a long screw in there and cable tied it against it and that seems to be doing the trick so I don't think that I'll be changing that. So here's a comparison between the first uh, print before the adjustments of the belts and here is after. So just Taking a look at it, Oops. you can see there's a, yeah, this second one's still not perfect, but there's a pretty stark difference between the two. Still haven't got rid of it totally, but much, much better. The information I've seen sort of indicates that these sorts of issues could be due to loose or belts that are too tight. But given that I saw such an increase after squaring it up and going from this to this by tightening them, I think I'll give them half a turn each again and print off another cube. At the moment, the printer is printing a guide for the filament. At the moment, it's sort of a bit painful when it goes to the back of the bed. This new guide is designed to pull filament off the bottom and out and I'm sort of hopeful that that's going to make a bit of a difference. Anyway, after that's printed I will tighten the belts another half turn and see how it looks and come back to you with another cube. Okay, so I've printed off a few cubes now and this was a cube that I printed off right after that filament guide just as a bit of a starting point and it's not too bad but there's just not quite right around the letters so it could be better so then I tightened half a turn and in all honesty I didn't really see a lot of difference tightened it a little bit more again and again not a great deal of difference this one is definitely better just around the bottom of the X there is certainly better um, so I tighten them a little bit again and I think somewhere between these two was sort of looking optimum but then what I did was go back and say, OK, I think I'm just trying to print these a little bit too fast. So I reduced the print speed for the uh, perimeters. And you'll notice that this looks really nice. It is super good. Apart from the obvious layer shift. So I think not a lot of difference between these two so i've backed it off to somewhere where the adjustment was between these two um, prints and i'm just running another slow print again or slow perimeter print uh, just to make sure that we don't see this uh, layer shift and once that comes off the printer we'll have a look at it okay so after printing that slow, I was pretty pleased with the results and I thought I'd just do a 
before and after type thing. Now, some of these were printed at the same time as these original cubes, which would have been yep, there's a number one on it. So that was the one I did before making any adjustments. So you can see that banding that I was getting here and the definition around the Y is not great. Uh, the color cut, the definition on the face, it's not overly brilliant. Again, the banding I was getting. Dimensionally, it was fine. And of course the benchy looking pretty horrible around the front. Yeah. Okay, so this was the one I did slow. You can see the banding is pretty much maybe it's just the slightest little bit there but pretty much gone and to the eye it looks fantastic and the Y the definition around there looks good X is good and the Z or Z looks great super happy with that Kelly cat definition pretty good no real sign of bending and again to the naked eye it looks fantastic super happy and the benchy obviously this was the spot here that just looked atrocious and now looks great definition is great the archway here circle just the slightest little bit of a dip there if anything I'm super happy with that and you know it came off the printer absolutely no stringing on it at all anywhere but this is exactly how it came off the printer all three models it's exactly how they came off the printer I don't think I could have hoped for better so that's the tuning effort of the printer done yeah I'll do one final video actually I'll do two final videos the first one will detail um, changes that I made you'll notice that we have no YMAX sensor I didn't see the point of it to be absolutely honest so I just pulled it out and there are numerous uh, changes in the or small changes and major changes in the code so I'll go through them all in one go just to finalize the build and I guess the final one I don't know whether I'll have the new filament here to print that case if I do I'll include that as well if not then it'll be a super short one at the end of it just to uh, show you the absolute final product oh and I've got a print out a mount for the actual um, display as well and reprint this in PTG just because I want it all black anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you next time if you like what I'm doing then please do like the video if you'd like to see more then 
please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.